and welcome back to Good Evening KU. I'm Mel Moore. And I'm Gracie Myers. So the election happened last night, and yeah. that was just a huge event for America. Yeah, what'd you think so, about it? Well, it was exciting because it it's was. like our first time voting. Yeah. So it was, this is the first election that I've actually like watched the whole way through. Me too. On the TV. Yeah, so I, I got like really I was involved. Like in it. Yeah. yeah. So I was excited about it. But yeah. I know you're from Minnesota, so did you do an absentee ballot? Yes. Like okay. a long, like weeks ago. Yeah, so. me too. Me too. I was like so nervous just like filling out the ballot. It like didn't feel real. I feel like I've been able to vote before, but I haven't. I know, but it was like so weird because it was like a scantron. I wasn't yeah. like expecting that, and I just like wanted the little sticker and like, I know. to go to the little voting place, <laughs> but it, yeah. it worked, you know. I know. We, we voted that way, so yeah. it's okay. I was so bummed. I was like, are they going to send me a sticker? But no, didn't get one. Never <laughs> did, but it's okay. At least we voted and everything. Yeah, so did you stay up the whole time until it was announced? Yeah, until like around like 2.30 or something, me then too. I just went to bed. Yeah. There, there I am watching the TV in my living room actually <laughs> with my American socks trying yeah. to be as you know American as possible <laughs> on yeah Snapchat. I was definitely trying to stay up but I didn't know if they were gonna announce it today or last night so I was like should I go to bed should I stay up but I'm kind of glad I did I know with like the whole like states like counting and everything in mm -hmm. different time zones I was just like what is taking so long for yeah. some states to like count I like don't know how that works but I was me just either. like waiting and I'm like yeah are you kidding me I have to do a recount <laughs> like yeah let's turn that state blue or red here. I know and they had to recount a few states like a few times so it was just taking forever but yeah I don't know, it was still fun to watch. and It was worth the cool. wait. I mean, everyone will find out who won, you know, the next day. So today, but waking up, it was definitely, like, you know, some friends and me had, like, mixed feelings about yeah. it. So. Yeah, social media was just blowing up with so many different, like, opinions and stuff. But yeah. it was cool to see what everyone was posting. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like some people are just a little, you know, savage about like their political <laughs> yeah. views especially on Facebook you know your family members and stuff yeah yeah posting like super long statuses like big paragraphs and everything yeah and I just feel like you know as America we should all be respectful even yeah. if we like completely disagree about mm -hmm. like who's president or not it's yeah. just like that's the right thing to do overall still need to like somehow come together and make it all work Yes, make America great again. As yeah. <laughs> our current president is that's his slogan. Same. Yeah. So there you are with your Trump t shirt. Oh yeah, Those there are I am. Super cute. I Did know. you make them? Yeah, so I went like all over Lawrence. I could not find a Trump shirt anywhere. I went to like Walmart, Target, everywhere. And so my friend and I were like, let's just make them. So we went to Michael's and like got a shirt and just like ironed on the letters and Made it into like a cute little dress thing. Yeah, those <laughs> are cute. Did you watch uh, the election with your roommates or anything? Um, just like a few friends. We just like watched it and it was taking forever. So we were like, we'd yeah. like go to something else and like come back. And but then the numbers would like briefly change yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we'd be like, oh, it's gone up like five points and it's been like an hour. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was still really fun. So, yeah, that's yeah. good. So um, also, on there is so since Donald Trump is our you know current president, yeah. I have some fun facts about him. Okay, so cool. he is actually a six foot three, and he wow. is, but he's not the tallest president. Abraham yeah. Lincoln was um, the tallest president, being six four. Wow, yeah, so, so he's close. <laughs> yeah, and he's also the oldest um, elected first term president, wow. being like seven years seventy years old, I think. Okay, so he's a pretty old guy, but <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. like all presidents are old. Yeah, you know, you have to be a certain age to be like in the club mm -hmm. of like presidency, you <laughs> yeah. know, to even run yeah. for presidency. But also, um, his parents sent him away to a New York military school when he was thirteen years old. Wow, so that's, that's kind of really young. I mean, I wouldn't like to, you know, be sent away <laughs> no. to military school, but Me maybe either. Trump does. And yeah. a very interesting fact is, you know, he doesn't drink alcohol because his brother was an alcoholic and like died of that. But oh wow, I okay. mean, that's just like surprising to me because I feel like Trump, you know, he likes his alcohol. <laughs> he and likes parties. to get rowdy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't drink alcohol. That's and crazy also, to not know that. Yeah, and he's like a big germaphobe, so he's like really famous for high fives. Weird. Which I don't know if a president can like do that with people from different countries. Yeah. Being, like nice hey, meeting hey, high five. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, I feel like I've seen him like shake Hillary's hand, but he was probably maybe kind of grossed out after that. <laughs> just yeah, wanted to just like hand sanitizer. Just <laughs> yeah. That's so, so funny. Yeah, but later on we'll be back with a Jake and a guest, so stay tuned. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you.
Welcome back. Today we have Maddie Womack, uh, Student Senate Government Relations. Um, so how do you feel about the presidential election that just finished up? Um, I think it's always encouraging to see a lot of people like turn out um, and what they believe in, but personally, not too thrilled about the outcome. <laughs> kind of one of those things, but glad people got out and voted. So Yeah, yeah. So what are some similarities you see with um, this presidential election that just finished up? And, you know, it's crazy. I'm pretty sure we're all glad it's done. But what kind of similarities do you see with that with um, student senate relation or like elections in KU? Definitely. Um, I think you kind of have similar issues sometimes when it comes to like, you know, voter outreach, like voter turnout. Um, you always obviously like want as many people to vote as possible. And that's obviously like a challenge for like presidential elections, local elections especially, and the student senate as well. So it's kind of interesting to see like what they did that was effective and like what wasn't. Because mm -hmm. um, I think we kind of use like similar strategies and stuff like whether it's social media to reach people or you know, if it's like actually like standing out on Wesco, you know, like talking to people, kind of like canvassing, going door to door. So there's a lot of similarities. We do mm -hmm. a lot of the same things. So with like voter turnout, I know that um, that this election kind of had a unprecedented like turnout with millennials. Like, how was the voter turnout this past year with uh, your guys' election? Was that pretty good on with the KU student body? Yes, we actually had um, great voter turnout this year. It was uh, the most, and I think like the past three years, something mm -hmm. like that. So that's always really encouraging because for sure. Um, if you have like a strong student voice and um, approval of like the things you want to do, I think it makes it easier to be like, no, this is like what we need to do, and um, to you know like forge relationships with the administration and things and explain like this is really what students want. So mm -hmm. that's always exciting. Cool. So how's this term going so far? Are you guys getting stuff done? <laughs> yeah, I actually think um, this term has gone really well so far. We've been pretty productive. I can just think of like a couple things that I like loved that we did like. Um, our student body president and mm -hmm. vice president are amazing and like the student senate equitable election fund which I think is like really relevant to something like this with so much big money in politics um, at the student senate level we actually cap elections at $1,000 mm -hmm. you can't spend past that just to kind of make sure that like you know obviously you need to spend some money like buttons t-shirts kind of like get people aware of the election but we don't want it to be like um, you know trying to outspend the other because yeah. that's not always effective but what they worked on is like creating like a fund um, through like endowment that'll like allow if like two candidates have like a slate you know like a coalition and like platforms like things they want to do that they can apply and get like some of that actually from the fund so that it makes it a little bit easier because fundraising and stuff can be hard so mm -hmm. stuff like that's kind of exciting yeah so um, is there any like goals you guys are still working towards that you're like trying to get done by the end of the year yeah definitely um, by no means is our work over mm -hmm. so uh, a couple things that I can think of that we've just been working on a lot lately. Obviously, we're very passionate about, like, um, one of the things we always said during the campaign was, you know, like, action-oriented change. Like, how do you mm -hmm. actually change things? Like, what does that process look like? And um, I know, so I share an office with our policy and development director, um, and he's working a lot on, like, a first-generation peer mentorship program, which we really want to see come to, like, fruition and be, like, a successful thing that carries on in the years past us, right? Mm -hmm and um, other things like a summer venture program is kind of what we call it and I know it's been really successful lately with the business school kind of getting that off the ground making sure that that goes into impact and like what that kind of looks like is having like students um, come and like actually spend like time on campus that they can like visualize themselves mm -hmm. here really exciting <laughs> yeah that's really cool so just are you just happy to be done with these elections <laughs> yeah definitely I am glad for it to be over um, but always interesting to like mm -hmm. see how it plays out but um, part of my position is I chair like the student legislative awareness mm -hmm. board which is a really great board of like really um, passionate people about like civic education and like registering people to vote and so we were a big part of the voter registration drive on campus so I'll be interested to kind of see like if everyone that we kind of got registered voted or any of that like type of data always really interested to see how that turned out but it was a really cool process you know to like get um, freshmen or even people who like just hadn't registered or like voted or anything before to like see them like participate and um, like work on stuff like that so mm -hmm. so how many people did you guys like get registered to vote Do you know that number or? you know I'm actually not hundred percent sure <laughs> on the number but we were part of the um, voter registration drive that the Dolan Institute of Politics does okay. that that kind of big like um, like leadership and civic engagement week that type of stuff so I'm sure that they would have a number but <laughs> I don't exactly <laughs> remember perfect perfect well thank you so much for coming is there anything else you'd like to add um not really just excited about civic engagement lately. Good to see people in, like interested and involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Thank you. Um, we'll be right back.
Welcome back. I'm Mackenzie Davis. And I'm Andy Braz. This is your Good Evening KU News Update. It's over. Donald Trump has beaten Hillary Clinton in the presidential election. He will become the 45th president of the United States when he is sworn in on January 20th. Trump won the important swing states of Ohio, North Carolina, and Florida to seal his surprise victory. Canada's immigration website crashed during the U.S. presidential election. The website remained down for over two hours as Trump took the lead in the exit polls. Twitter users suggest that America's cra Americans crashed the website because they are unhappy with the election results. Republicans have kept control of both the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate. The only switch from Republican to Democrat in the 2016 election was Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth, who unseated Mark Kirk. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi discontinued two commonly used Indian bills. The rupee notes worth 501,000 rupees will be invalid starting at midnight. This is designed to fight against the corruption and money laundering in the Indian economy. A Canadian diver has discovered a possible nuclear bomb. Sean Simrichkinski was looking for sea cucumbers off the coast of Western Canada when he found an inactive Mark IV nuclear bomb. The bomb weighs five tons and is 10 feet long. The Canadian Navy has been contacted to identify if the object is really a bomb. The Syrian government reportedly took part of Aleppo. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said government forces and their allies have seized full control of the 1070 apartment district. This is the most significant gain by the government since September and led to rebel forces starting the battles, uh, stating the battle is not over. And that's all we have for your news update. Stay with us. We'll be right back with the episode of Only an LFK. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you.
Good evening and welcome back. We are joined with Maggie outside with us right now. Maggie, hey. what's going on outside? Hey Warren, we're just hanging on Wisco Beach. It's a little chilly outside, but we're hanging in there. It's starting to get a little darker too, but not too bad. I know, I know. So it's looking late right now. I you know it's only like 5.15, but you know, it looks so late out. Yeah. You know, is it starting to feel um, you yeah. know, daylight savings times came and, you know, is it starting to feel like that fall winter weather? Yes, definitely. Tonight it feels super late, so I'm kind of ready to go to bed, hit the head. But yeah, it's only like 5.30, so it's weird, but. I know, it makes it seem like it's hours later, I know. <laughs> so we are heading into the mid middle of November. Um, are you, oh, it looks like we're heading into, no, no, we're, looks like we're heading into tonight. Um, Oh, going back? Okay, okay, sounds good. <laughs> hey, uh, one more question for you, Maggie. Uh, you know, we are heading into the middle of November. Um, are you excited for the um, winter temperatures? I'm so excited for it to get colder. I'm sick of the heat and ready to move on to winter. I know, I am too. Yeah, I'm ready to move on to winter. I know, I am too. All right, thank you so much, Maggie. Thank you, Lauren. All right, as we head into tonight, we are expecting temperatures uh, in the mid-30s. We have not seen that first freeze yet. Uh, but we will be getting pretty close tonight um, with mostly clear skies and a low of 37. And as we head into tomorrow, it is going to be unseasonably warm again. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of very warm temperatures, uh, and tomorrow will be another one of those days with a high uh, right around 70 degrees uh, and lots of sun. Uh, winds will be light around 5 miles per hour. And as we look into our five day, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, you know, lots of sun, uh, barely any clouds. Uh, tomorrow will be 70, uh, but uh, Friday we will cool down uh, for the weekend around around 60 degrees. And if you are heading out to the game on Saturday against Iowa State, uh, we will see cooler temperatures in the morning uh, with a high of 57 in the afternoon. And then wrapping up our five-day on uh, Sunday and Monday to head into the early part of next week, temperatures will warm back up just a little into the low to mid-60s. And that will do it for us today on Good Evening KU. Make sure you come back and see us next Wednesday at 5. Thanks for watching.